Hey, hi everyone. Uh, this video is about simple LED circuit. Okay, so this picture shows that uh, LEDs they come in the different uh, size and different colors. Uh, LED stand for light emitting diodes. Uh, this is another way you can uh, show the LED. Uh, this one, so there is a two uh, connector. One is anode and one is cathode. And uh, this is the symbol. So if you look at some electronics document or some schematics, you will see uh, this symbol for the LED. Okay. And then the anode is shown by the longer wire here, and the other one cathode shown by the smaller wire here. Uh, these two pictures show that um, when you buy it, I just bought it. Uh, this one and this one. These two pictures are for the example. So the, this one is from Lindros uh, Super Bright LED. The thing uh, you want to pay attention is that uh, this these two number here 2.2 forward voltage and 20 milliamp. Okay, so you cannot pass more than 20 amp, uh, 20 milliamp here. Um, if you try to, then you it may cause burnout of the LED. Okay, so that's the spec here, and the 2.2 uh, VF that's the voltage drop will happen on this LED. On the back side, it shows uh, some of the information like uh, which series, and this is some company information. And then um, this one shows that, okay, when you use the diode for the AC, you need to use the rectifier uh, for the AC applications. Uh, this one shows some parameter here. And uh, this three figure here, it shows that this is a top view, uh, which represent this same, same figure here. Uh, the one flat side is a cathode and the other one is the anode here and that's the you connect the positive voltage here negative voltage on this side on the cathode side okay so that's what uh, shows the how led look like and uh, a couple like uh, which size which color and which shapes they come in okay uh, okay so this figure shows that okay if you want to make a simple circuit um you need the 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 key piece, key piece here is that what is the resistance you need to use here. Okay, so this one I'm using the uh, here 2A battery here. That is give me 3.4 volt, 3 volt. And uh, so this VS, it shows the supply voltage. This is VF I was mentioning earlier. That's the forward voltage drop across the LED. And the VR, uh, some voltage will drop between the VR. Okay, and uh, you need to find out how much resistance you need to uh, choose so that um, you don't pass more than 20 milliamp 20 milliampere current from the LED. Okay, so VF we know that 2.2 volt here, ampere we know is 20 milliamp. We cannot pass more than 20 milliamp. We know the VS. So first step we need to find out how much voltage drop will happen here. So VR is equal to 3 point, uh, so this is the equation, VR is equal to VS, that's this one, 3 volt, minus VF, that is 2.2 volt. Okay, so now VR we know is 3, 3 voltage, 3.0 minus 2.2, that gives me 0 0.8 voltage. So VR, the voltage drop between VR here will be 0 0.8 volt. Now I know the VR, I know the amp, so there is a current equation, that's the Ohm's law. I is equal to V divided by R. VR is the voltage, R is the current, I mean resistance here. So from this equation, you can find out R is equal to VR divided by I because you just take R on that side and bring I over here. So now we know the R is equal to VR divided by I. Now we know VR, we know I as well, that's the 20 milliamp. So now I plug the value in 0 0.8 that we just find out here. Uh, so now VR 0 0.8 volt divided by 20 milliamps so i can write 20 times 10 raised to minus 3 now this 1000 will go on the on the numerator so now it's 0 0.8 times 1000 divided by 20 and that give me the value of resistance is equal to 40 m 40 ohms now to be make sure you don't want to use exact 40 ohms uh, it's better to use some higher voltage here so around like 45 ohm uh, that make sure that your current won't pass more than 20 milliamp it will be around like 18 milliampere yeah that your LED will be a little bit dim but it's okay uh, you can uh, but then your LED won't burn out and um, you can save some power as well okay so that's the circuit here uh, and that's how you find out this R resistance here and as we sh is shown here is 40 ohm here okay so let's move to next slide here okay so this is the simple LED that I have just tasted here 
okay uh, let me just walk through here this is a positive it is um, this this end that is positive i have marked with this uh, green label it is connecting here this is a breadboard so this all this uh, connection they are common so this positive it will go through this resistance here resistance is connected to the one lead of the led that's the anode and cathode is going connected to the negative voltage here okay so that's the very simple circuit as as we shown in earlier figure and now i just run this video clip here and this one will give us some uh, voltage measurement here okay so now i'm using the multimeter first i am measuring the voltage across the power supply so that is 2.85 volt okay now this resistance the vr that is 0.97 volt and the voltage drop across two leds uh, two pins of the led is 1.87 volt okay that's the forward voltage and uh, i am using the resistance of around like uh, 62 ohm here okay it should be less around like 43 or 44 ohm but i am just to be safe sure, and this is a uh, one i have so that's some circuit demo here a uh, live demo okay now um, different this table shows some of the power supply that you can use uh, what are the leds what are their forwarding voltages uh, how many LEDs you can connect in series, uh, what is the desired ampere and how much is a calculator resistor and uh, what sh you should use in real life just to be sure or to be on the safe side. Okay, uh, so if, if I walk through like let's say for example this one, my supply voltage is 4.5 volt, uh, LED color I am using, I mean it could be red, yellow or yellow green, VF is 1.8, two LEDs in series, two um, LEDs in series are 2, 25 milliampere, resi register calculator is coming out 36 ohm and the uh, desired is 39 and I have the next slide I will show you how, how that 36 and 39 uh, calculated. Okay, So this is the same that I was mentioning earlier. So here VS, there's a supply voltage. This is the VR that will happen between this register. VF1 we know 1.8 volt, VF2 also 1.8 volt. So now to calculate the VR, I am uh, this the equation for VR is equal to supply voltage, which is 4.5 volt here. Uh, actually, this should be three pass uh, three double A. I mean three double A uh, battery should be here, but uh, is 4.5 here with the three double um, A battery. 4.5 minus 1.8 that is for one LED, 1.8 for other LED. So that gives me 0 0.9 volt. That voltage drop will happen between this resist, uh, across this resistor. And now I know that uh, that VR is 0 0.9. D I divide by the current 25 milliampere. So that gives me the value of 36 ohm. Okay, and then to be safer side, you want to use 39 ohm. Okay, uh, I think that's pretty much. And um, Thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel if you like this video okay and hopefully this will help you um, if you have any project led project or something like that okay okay and again um, subscribe to my channel if you like this video okay bye